F sub A now is equal to negative. Ang normal force natin is equal to 180 Newton plus weight ng table natin is Mass times gravity, we have 23 kilograms as the mass times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square divided by sine 25 degrees. Normal force is a contact force between two objects. And it is represented as F sub N. The word normal means perpendicular because it is directed perpendicular to the two surfaces in contact. In mathematical terms, pag sinabi nating normal, it just simply means perpendicular. For example, in this figure, we have a can as, a, as an object. So the can is now at rest, which means that yung acceleration natin sa can is zero. Therefore, yung net force na nag act dun sa object natin na can is also zero. Walang acceleration, walang net force. Thus, alam natin that yung downward force of gravity is being opposed by an upward force exerted by the counter. Yung force of gravity niya, which is also tinatawag natin as the weight, ay kinokontra nung upward force from the third law of motion at yung upward force na inyong nga, tinatawag natin as the normal force ito. Take note that the normal force can be greater than less than or equal to the weight. Depende kung meron tayong mga i-apply na force or meron pang ibang nag act na forces dun sa object na i-consider natin in problem solving. Example number one, a boy having a mass of 75 kilograms holds in his hands a bag of sand weighing 14 newton. With what force does the floor push up on his feet? For example, this is the ground and this is the boy. And meron siyang hawak na bag of sand. For example, this is the bag of sand na hawak niya. Si Boy ay merong mass na 75 kilograms. Therefore, meron siyang weight. And yung weight niya is pababa. This is the weight of the boy. And this is equal to yung mass niya na 75 kilograms and yung acceleration due to gravity. Another is yung weight nung bag of sand na kanyang hawak-hawak and it has a weight of 40 newton which is pababa din vertically this is the weight of the bag of sand, a weight sub s na lang the question is, ano daw yung force na yung exert nung floor sa kanyang feet so yung force na yun is yung normal force na nag act dito sa kanyang feet sa ilalim and this is the normal force or say Fn. Sa ibang references, dinedenote natin siya as simply N lang. Wala tayong horizontal forces dito. Lahat is vertical forces. We have the weight of the boy, weight ng bag of sand, and yung normal force na nag act upward pa kontra dun sa weight ni boy at saka yung weight ng bag of sand by third law of motion. To solve for the normal force, we consider first the second law of motion. Second law of motion at Y, or summation, is equal to mass times acceleration at Y. Since nakatayo lang yung boy, hindi siya bumaba hindi rin siya umangat, ibig sabihin, nakarest lang siya, there is no acceleration at vertical. This is zero. And by summation of forces, ito rin yan, net force at Y, we have three forces na ipag -aad. Considering ito yung ating positive sides, y and x unahin natin yung normal force say f sub n which is positive kasi pataas siya pag sinulat natin yung free body diagram this is the f sub n and this is the weight of the boy and another weight ng bag of sand so positive yung normal force natin and then negative naman yung weight ng boy and weight of sand so, this is minus weight ng boy minus weight ng bag of sand. By second law of motion, zero na rin ito. So, this is zero equals F sub N minus weight ng boy minus weight of the bag of sand. Solving for F sub N 
I-transfer natin sa kabila itong dalawa. So, magiging positive na silang dalawa. And, ilagay na lang natin dito agad as F sub N equals positive weight ng boy plus weight ng sand. F sub N or the normal force is equal to weight of the boy which is mass times gravity plus yung weight ng sand which we have already 14 newton na agad. Normal force is equal to mass ng boy is 75 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square plus 14 newton. F sub N again kilograms times meter per second square is newton. So, by calculating, normal force is equal to 775 Newton. Ito yung nararamdaman ng boy na force under his feet. So, this is example number 1. Example number 2. A 23 kilogram table is pulled with a constant speed using a rope at an angle of 25 degrees above the horizontal. If the normal force exerted on the table is 180 Newton, what is the force applied to the handle? For example, this is a table. By free body diagram, ilalagay muna natin lahat na nag a na forces dun sa object natin na, na kinoconsider which is yung table. Pinakaunang force na nag a sa kanya is yung weight, which is downwards, weight ng table. Yung normal force na mararamdaman sa ilalim niya mismo, we have 180 newton, lagay na lang muna natin as F sub N. And another, we have an applied force na two-dimensional, say, nandito siya nakalagay. So, we have applied force, say, FA na lang, and it has an angle of 25 degrees above the horizontal. So, step 2 ng free body diagram natin, i-convert natin yung object natin na sa point na lang. So, this is the weight of the table. This is the normal force. F sub N, and this is the applied force with an angle of 25 degrees. To solve for the applied force, ang gagamitin natin is the Y component. Considering again, this is the positive sides natin, Y and X, ito, upward and the right side, nung, nung coordinate natin. By second law of motion, we have mass times the acceleration at y. Hindi gumalaw or hindi nag-move yung table natin. Wala rin binigay na acceleration at vertical. So, this is zero. And again, by summation of forces naman, kukunin natin yung components ng fa. So, this is fay and fax. And sa summation of forces natin at y component, ang pag a lang natin is yung f sub n weight ng table, and yung y component ng applied force. So, this is positive F sub N plus F sub A Y minus yung weight ng table. Again, there is no acceleration vertical. Wala rin acceleration horizontal. So, this is 0 na. 0 is equal to F sub N plus F sub a y minus weight ng table. We are solving for the F sub A only. We transfer natin sa kabila yung dalawang terms. This is F sub A na, F sub A y equals nilipat to. This is negative F sub N na and ito, this is positive weight ng table. Kaya lang, ang inahanap lang natin mismo is yung force applied lang. Dito sa equation natin, force applied at y component. Yung force applied natin at y component is also equal to force applied sine 25 degrees. Pwede na nating masolve yung F of A using this equation. So, F sub A sine 25 degrees equals negative F sub N plus yung weight ng table. We divide both sides by sine 25 degrees. Cancel. F sub A now is equal to negative ang Normal force natin is equal to 180 Newton plus weight ng table natin is mass times gravity. We have 23 kilograms as the mass times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square divided by sine 25 degrees. By calculating, applied force is equal to 110 Newton.
This is the applied force na nararamdaman ng table kapag hinila siya using a rope with an angle of 25 degrees. This is example number 2. Example number 3. A loaded box of a mass 13 kilograms is resting on a level surface of a floor. Letter A. Determine the weight of the box and the normal force exerted on it by the floor. Letter B. If you push down on the box with a vertical force of 65 newton, determine the normal force exerted on the box by the floor. And letter C. If you pull upward the box using a rope with a force of 25 newton, what is the normal force exerted on the box by the floor? For example, this is the box on a level floor. Letter A. We are asked to solve the weight of the box and yung normal force na nag-exert sa kanya. I-draw muna natin lahat ng forces at nag-a-act dun sa box. Letter A muna tayo. First is yung weight niya. Weight of the box. And yung normal force. Say F sub N. In free body diagram, this is the weight of the box. And this is the F sub N. So this is the positive sides natin. Upward and yung right. For letter A again, we again consider first the Newton's second law of motion. At Y component kasi wala naman tayong forces na nag-a-act sa X component. Mass times the acceleration. Unang-una, wala siyang motion. Ibig sabihin, there's no acceleration. This is zero. The measure of forces at Y is equal to positive normal force minus weight of the box. And again, by second law of motion, na-determine natin na zero yung kanyang net force kasi there's no acceleration. Zero na rin ito. So, this is zero equals F sub N minus weight of the box. Lipat natin sa kabila. This is weight of the box equals F sub N. Again, equal na yung weight of the box and normal force natin kasi silang dalawa lang naman yung nag-a-act sa loaded box natin by third law of motion. Ang weight of the box natin is equal to mass times gravity. We have given a mass of 13 kilograms times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square. Weight of the box is equal to 127.53 newton. And for the normal force naman, normal force is also equal to 127.53 newton. For letter B naman, if you push down on the box with the vertical force, ibig sabihin may third force na na mag-a-act sa kanya which is downward force vertical, 65 newton. This is the applied force. We have 65 newton. We are asked to find the normal force only kasi alam na natin yung weight ng box. We have 127.53 newton. With this applied force, vertical force downward magkakaroon ng difference sa normal force so paano natin masasolve yun again there is no acceleration so the net force na nag-a-act dun sa box is 0 net force at vertical is 0 ito sya wala pa rin motion kaya lang nadagdagan yung forces natin we have the normal force minus weight of the box minus yung Applied force natin na 65 newton. Solving for the normal force. Normal force is equal to, nilipat natin ito sa kabila. So, naging positive sila. This is positive weight ng box plus applied force. Normal force is equal to, weight of the box is equal to 127.53 newton plus the applied force na 65 newton. By calculating, normal force is equal to 100 92.53 newton. So as we can notice, mas malaki yung normal force dito kumpara dun sa letter A na 127.53 newton lang kasi may additional applied force na kinokontra nung normal force. We have 65 newton downward din siya. Dalawa na silang kumokontra dun sa normal force. Mas madadagdagan yung ibinabalik na normal force. For letter C naman, if you pull upward the box using a rope with a force of 25 newton, so pataas naman yung applied force, pag ganito, we have applied force na equal sa 25 newton. Again, magkakaroon ulit ng difference sa normal force. Letter C, so by second law of motion, zero ulit ang acceleration natin, therefore the net force at 
y component is 0, lahat na nag sa kanya ngayon for letter C is yung positive f sub n minus yung weight ng box plus yung applied force na pataas. We have f sub a solving for the normal force. F sub n is now equal to, nilipat doon, this is a positive weight na ng box minus applied force. By substituting the values, weight of the box is 127.53 newton minus 25 newton as the applied force. F sub n is equal to 102.53 newton. So, mas lumiit yung normal force na ibinibigay ng floor dun sa loaded box natin kasi merong tumutulong sa kanya na applied force pataas we have 25 newton again nagbabago yung mga value ng normal force natin depende sa mga additional applied force na nag-act dun sa object na kinoconsider natin so this is example number 3